Hello guys, welcome to another Minecraft survival episode. Today I'm going to decorate the sea floor underneath my fishing hut. Right now, this fishing hut doesn't obey the law of physics since the supporting pillars are not completely finished yet. So this is going to be a video on how I decorate my sea floor and the pillars. So let's check it out. First of all, I need oxygen to work underneath the water. So here, I'm building a placeholder for conduit. Just for your information, the conduit is an underwater beacon that gives you infinite oxygen. Hmm, and protect you from drown as well. Of course, in this video, it's gonna be the first thing we are building. Next, I will need a lot of sea pickles for cheap light sources. Again, sea pickles are underwater plants that emit light up to hmm, maybe light level of 7, equivalent to a torch if you stack 4 of them together. And the way to get infinite sea pickles is to bone meal a single sea pickles planted on a coral. Any colors. So, once we collected the sea pickles, we're gonna start decorating the sea floor by placing couples of corals. See how those sea pickles pops the color of the coral. You can always use 2 to 4 sea pickles, but I always prefer 4 of them. Mm, always. In additionally, adding prismarine block and prismarine brick is always my go-to option when I'm decorating the sea floor. Of course, sea lantern is the most pretty light block in my opinion. So I gotta add I gotta add them into the picture as well. So basically repeating the same patterns here and there. Okay, and also removing some all of these annoying kelp so I can make more space for the decoration. So let's speed this up, shall we? Now it's time for the pillar. First, we definitely gonna extend the logs further down. Then we strip some of the pillars to show some sort of uh, decay looks to these logs. And it also adds some sense of depth onto the logs as well. Next, we're gonna build some stone foundation underneath the logs. This will make more sense since stone is more sturdy than the wood. But this may not be enough. So we will need to expand the radius of the stone foundation just like how those architectures in our real world works. This is another block that I love so much. The mossy cobblestone and mossy brick. They give some sort of edge look to the building when we do that. And yeah, you can see the effect of the mossy cobblestone on the pillars. Ah, I just love that so much. These pillars are actually a combination of like um, cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, cracked stone brick, and stone. Lastly, for the foundation, we're gonna add some stairs and walls for more sense of depth. And usually, I will mix up all the variants of stone into a building, just like how we can see in this video. Once the foundation are done, we are gonna add some logs protruding out of the wood pillars. Also again, give it some, some sort of sense of depth and also bone meal some of the surface to grow um, seagrass. Ah, look at all those greeneries. And at the end of the decorations, we're gonna put different colors of coral fans onto the pillars. So it's kind of look like hmm, the, the pillars has grown some fungus. And obviously we know that fungus only in uh, green color, but it's fine. And it's gonna look more closer to, to how our real world works, right? And so this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It's free after all, just as usual. Let's have some montage before the video ends. So sit back, relax, and enjoy.